Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully complete our multi-authentication system. So right now, if you click as a login, into the login, if you put that use appropriate email, user email address, password, click as a login, then it's redirected to our user dashboard page. And from here, if you go to that profile, so that is the your user profile, right? So from here, that is all the default ones. So everything will be work. And here from this position, if you click as a logout, so now it's detected to our home page. So now I want to do and to change it. If you want to change it, you can change it. And also for the admin, for the admin, if you go to that admin slash logging, and here if you put that user email address and password, that will be actually display that credential error. Yeah, you can see it's now perfectly getting this error. So now here you have to do you have to use that as an admin. That means our admin admin at the gmail.com and the password as you want to 345. Now click as a logging. Now it's successfully returned direct to our um, admin dashboard, right? So that is the admin dashboard and high admin. Perfect. But right now, that is actually our profile will be not work um, for the um, dashboard. But when we actually created our project, I will also create it. Um, that means I will customize our total admin dashboard. Okay, then we will actually create that profile, we'll add that images, so don't worry about it. Only here I updated our this route, which is very much important part. So right now we are able to access two of this dashboard. Okay, so, but when you actually locking with the admin and after that locking, when you click as a logout, it's now redirected to our home page. So now I don't want to redirect to the home page. So if you want to do that work, it's very much easy for the admin. For the admin, if you I have already created one of the controller for the admin. Right, so that is our admin controller. That means in our HTTP into the controller, and that is our admin controller. So into the admin controller, I have already copy everything. Okay, I copy everything, and here I paste it. You can see I just paste it. That is one of the destroy method. So that is a destroy method is for our sign out portion. Right, so that is actually the, that means it's actually destroy. That is a locking by default. Uh, one of the methods will be working. That is a session will be destroyed. So into this destroy method, that is a logout responsive. Okay, that means response into the logout response. Here you can see that is a vendor the, um, the Laravel Fortify. That is the SRC HTTP response and the logout response. So if you click on on particular that area. So here you can see that is actually the two read response, two response, and by default there is a redirect to the slash home. Home means that is actually when you click as a slash, that means it will be redirected redirect to our home page. So that is actually our home page, right? So now I want to do when that will be as a logout, that will be um, redirect to our admin slash logging. So here it will be redirect. I want to do and to simply copy it. And then here, I only want to update it that part. So I simply updated that things on here. That will be as a admin login. Now click as a save all. And now if you go there, now click as a enter. Now I want to log in with this admin. Click as a login. So yeah, perfectly I'm logging. Now click as a logout. Yes, you can see it's now perfectly returned redirect to our admin login. I hope friend, it's very much clear to you. So that is actually the file location. I hope you can well understand about it. And also the, the, the other issues, like if you logging with the same as a logging our with our user. So user email address and the password if it does a login. Now you can see it's not successfully redirect to our dashboard. But here right now, if you click as a logout, then you can see it's now redirect to the same as a admin logging. Okay, so so here if you want to actually segment it, then you have to also segment this page. That means that is actually one of the our destroy method. Into the destroy method, we get that things from which place? So we get that things from to the authenticated user session, right? That means the authenticated authenticated session authenticated session controller right so that is actually our main one from here I actually like copy everything I copy everything and I just simply paste it in our admin so then you have to actually uh, create new one so right now I want to do I don't want to create it um, differently so here only I want to change that our logout that means our logout response into the logout response here I want to do and to change it only that not the home page it will be returned direct to our logging page okay that means a slash logging now click the save all and now if you refresh it again and now I want to do I want to log in with the admin now click as a sign in dashboard is perfectly redirect now click as a sign out yes you can see it's now perfectly redirect to our logging page 
and also for the user if you now use that user email address and the password now click as a login yes it's perfectly locking with the high user and now from here if you click as a logout then it's not redirected to the home page it's redirected to the our locking page so that is actually the responsible for um, redirect this page so that is a clear page okay so into the admin that is destroy method there is a logout response into the logout response there is a vendor laravel 45 src http response and the logout response dot php so this page from here you can actually change it i hope it's very much clear to you so friend here we successfully complete our total uh, multi-authentication system so right now you can log in with the user okay you can log in with the user you can log sign out and also if you want to log in with the admin that will be as the admin slash logging our logging page will be loaded and here if you put your appropriate email address admin email address and the password click as a login then you can see that is a high admin is successfully logging so friend that is very much important one of the part i hope enjoy it very much so literally we will actually create two different template one will be for the admins admin related template i want to load in particular that area and also for the user and for the user i want to do i want to create another dashboard so here that will be obviously as a user at the red gmail.com so when you log in with this user then the here i want to load another dashboard okay so how can do that work step by step when you started our project i will show you everything with a live example so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video